Hi, I'm Stephanie Carhoff, Field Specialist for OSU Extension and Agronomic Systems. Here with you today at Northwest Research Station in the Battle for the Belt Corn Plots, talking about how to scout for tar spot. So tar spot's a relatively new corn disease for us here in Ohio. When we're scouting, we want to look at multiple areas of the field, and there's three questions you want to answer. One, is that tar spot present? To what degree or severity? And then three, how is it increasing over time? So to get that idea of what's present, I suggest walking in multiple areas of that field, targeting about 15 locations in the field. At each of those locations, stop and walk about 25 feet of row, stopping about every 10 steps or so in that 25 feet of row, and then observing plants and seeing if you can find that tar spot. And tar spot, we're looking for raised black spots that are the stroma of that fungus causing tar spot. And that will give you an idea of your incidence. So the number of plants with disease divided by the total number of plants examined types 100. And then you can also look at those diseased leaves and get an idea of how much of that leaf is being covered and how far it is from the ear leaf. And then lastly, what's probably most important with tar spot, since it can progress a lot more quicker than some of our other foliar diseases, is coming back about every five to seven days and seeing how those symptoms are progressing. So keeping in mind some recent research out of Purdue University that have 5% of the ear leaf needing a fungicide response. So this can progress quickly and it's really important to get out there and scout. When we're scouting, there's a few lookalikes that can trick us. So early in the season, we're looking for those raised black spots and that can be easily confused with insect frass. And a good test is just to rub the leaf surface and if it comes off that's a good indicator that's insect frass or poop and not that tar spot so the tar spot stroma will actually be embedded into the leaf surface and you won't be able to scratch it off and it won't rupture like at the end of the season some of our rust diseases can cause um, black spots from their teleospores but those will rupture and be able to scrape off and tar spot will be able to stay on the leaf and you'll also see scarring on the underside of that leaf it is a tar spot stroma and it won't be able to be scratched off like this if you have more questions about tar spot make sure you're subscribed to our core newsletter at agcrops.osu.edu and subscribe to the ohio state agronomy youtube channel and stay tuned for more battle for the belt updates all right i'm luke waltz with the food ag and biological engineering department out here at northwest research station up uh, up by hoytville in northwest ohio and uh, we've talked about drones and the images we're getting in the air. We've talked about some of the salt sensing we're putting in the ground. Today we want to talk about uh, some time-lapse imagery we're using. So many of you may have heard of the flag test that's used in corn where you can uh, measure the emergence of corn as it's coming out of the ground. And the idea is you have a certain color flag that you plant at the, in a small section with the first corn that emerges. And then every 12 hours you go out and you uh, plant different colored flags. And from there you can see uh, how uniform your corn emerges is, which is an important predictor of yield. So we thought we would uh, see if we could use some technology to make that process a little easier. And so we're trying some things out here. We have this um, this time-lapse camera. It's probably up about eight feet in the air, downward facing at the ground. We're doing this with corn and soybeans, and we're getting an image every 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to go back and analyze those images. And we've gotten from planning date five, four, three, two, and one across the three different uh, sites, Northwest, uh, Western, and Worcester. In a future episode, we'll look forward to showing uh, what we've learned and then we'll also see if we can use some computer vision techniques to, to more automate the process. And so the idea is, um, instead of going out to your field every 12 hours, you could uh, plan a time-lapse camera and uh, be able to get a measure of the uniformity of your, uh, of your crop. And so with all this technology we're talking about, both the drones in the air, the soil sensors, and the time-lapse imagery, we want to give special, uh, special thanks to the Nationwide AgTech Innovation Hub for, uh, for funding this project and funding the research.